Oh, yeah. Athletics. Thank you. I don't think I'll be okay on that. It was really easy. You made it really easy for him. You made it super easy for him. You put it little, little, knots, little knots along the way so they could just... Yeah. Nine. Well, the DC was two. <laughs> you did well. And now you're up on the next floor. Did you rope? Yeah. Alright, and then what do we see? What comes out? Uh, additional passage. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Is it a chamber? It is a chamber. It would technically have been a door. Oh, it's a chamber. It's a chamber this time. A square, 25 Eight. by 25. Oh. You climb into a 25 by 25. Uh, uh, so I'm doing number of doors, then door location. Yes. Okay. There are two doors. We gotta get you some other markers over there. There we go. There what, is two doors on where, where? One where? door on the left side of the entrance. So you entered it on the south side. So that would be left from the position. If you're looking this way as you come up, that would be your left. Okay, so is it centered? Do we do, do we care? Yeah, it's centered. centered. I think it's your discretion. Perfect. And the other one, let me see, that was a seven. Directly opposite the entrance. What is that? Is there a thought bubble? Oh, no. 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 <laughs> you giggled, so I wasn't sure. Aww. I like it. I love your horns. <laughs> what's, uh, uh, what's in the room? Closed doors. It's kind of a kitchen. There's uh, there's some pots and pans off to the left. There's some uh, there's a, a, a makeshift fireplace off to the right. Uh, not so much. There's kind of a hole kind of dug out into the rock, but it looks like the smoke just comes back in, and maybe that's why people don't use it. It's really weird. <laughs> so it's like a. They're like, I'm gonna make chimney. a fire, please. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, it's pretty shit. Chimney that doesn't work? Chimney that doesn't work. Chimney that would kill anyone who's Perception the check on the weird hole. Weird hole. Jesus Christ. 12 plus uh, one. 13. Yeah. Okay. It is a fireplace. Okay. <laughs> it, is a sh- it is a shabbily made fireplace. Dope. There Nothing is, a, there there is actually a, a, an old goblin sword in there, though. Ooh, it's rusted oh, and it's a negative one too, but it is there. It matches my charisma. Er, I got cold. <laughs> it matches your charisma. Uh, it looks just like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we'll leave that there. Ah, uh, you hear things coming from the other side of the door. Ah, uh, not entering through the doors, but you do hear them. Which door? The left door. Oh. There are things over there. You hear nothing coming from the door in front of you. I'm going to position myself to the north of the door on the left. My right axe <coughs> in here. Ready to... And what do you do to this door? Well, we hear something coming to it, right? You hear something on the other side of it. Uh, mumbling. Sounds like a doctor's office. <laughs> sounds like the sounds like the, the chef, the Muppet chef, <laughs> the Swedish chef, <laughs> like Charlie Brown. Uh, I check if the door is unlocked. It's unlocked. You hear the voices stop. You guys I see the spellcasters look through the damn door. <laughs> All right, I take a step back and prepared. Okay. All right, I, I take three, a few steps back. Yeah. And I use a thaumaturgy. 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 What does that do? Blow the door open. Does it do that? Is that a? Yeah, you can make you know unlock shutters, flutter, mm-hmm. and it's kind of just like yeah. you can't trip it. A bunch of different stuff that are kind of. It, it, it's essentially a, a magical enhancement of reality. <laughs> Big book work. This app is great. You manifest a minor wonder, a sign of supernatural power within range. You create one of the following magical effects within range. Your voice booms up to three times as loud as normal for one minute. 
You cause flames to flicker, brighten, dim, or change color for one minute. You cause harmless tremors in the ground for one minute. You create an, create an instantaneous sound that originates from a point of your choice. You instantaneous from, cause an unlocked door or window to fly open or slam shut. Is that the one? <laughs> You're like, yeah, that's it. That's, 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 that's what I said. Yeah. 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 It does, and it flies open, and you see two goblins on the other side <laughs> that are absolutely stunned <laughs> that there's someone there. What the fuck? Houdini! Are, are they speaking goblins? They're spe- speaking Jawa, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> they start, they run over, and they grab some spears off the ground. And they roll initiative, is what they do. We all roll initiative. If you'd like. <laughs> Unless you just want them to, you know, yeah. get up on it. Where did they get their dice from? They are just grabbing spears. Oh, well, that's a good Okay, everybody. Where are you at? I'm at 18. I'm at 20. I'm at 20. Uh, 19 plus my initiative score. Yeah, yours is. Yeah. 9. Nine. 19 plus my uh, initiative? Yeah. Yes. Uh, they have a 2. And they so, roll 23. Oh, yours is 23. What were you? Twelve. 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 Am I from them? That's an excellent question. Obviously, there's a chamber on the other side. Mm-hmm. Let's build it. A chamber? A chamber. Yeah. It's, it's a circle, 20 foot diameter. That is a weird chamber. There are secrets in this chamber. <laughs> That's supposed to be wrong. <laughs> but also, ooh, a circle's gonna make this really fucking interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are three doors. Oh. In the circle? Yeah. Well, yeah, this is about to get really weird. Uh, awesome. So, there's one to the right side of the entrance. Whatever that means, in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> there's one directly across from the entrance. And there's one on the same wall as the entrance, which is... So it leads right back in? I guess so. Was it like a closet over there? What the hell? I don't know. (laughs) It just keeps spinning. It's like the space needle. I'm sorry. Yes, it is your turn, sir. You have... I apologize. You throw those two in there. They're ready to fight. Uh, They are standing there with spears. Okay. dance. Well. Waiting. I guess I'm going to take out my right ear, go through the door, because I have a 25 foot speed, and try to stab one of them in the testicles, because I'm 2 foot 11. Which, uh, <laughs> well, they're short too, I'm know. assuming the red one, as he's uh, he's closest. Uh, if he's going to be one, he's going to be a big red one, so yeah. Uh, will you move Charmander okay. closer to... Uh, oh, Char. <laughs> Plus six. What did you get? No. Did you get oh, D20 no. D twenty first. I'm sorry. Oh, D twenty. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. a yes, no. Oh my. <laughs> Four. <laughs> yep. Four plus. Four plus what? Six. Six. Total. So ten in total, uh, which in fact does not hit. I apologize. Mm. But you are close enough. You can scream at him. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it moves to. Craven. Am I within, uh, can I run up to one of them? I have 30 can. speed. 30 feet? Yeah. 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 Pile right next to, uh, if you can't stand it. I'm not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> they can punch it from the side, kind of flank that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Now, flanking, not just, not just flanking, but when there's multiple opponents on one, those people get advantage. Advantage on attack. So, roll 2d20. And take the higher result. That's a pretty good roll. What is that, a zero? <laughs> oh, it's a six. Yeah. <laughs> so is that 18? 18. Plus, uh, I'm punching him in my face. Punch him in the face. Really? You're not going to use a. Oh, you're a monk. Yeah, I am a monk. Yeah. 
A mug. <laughs> so, 24? Yes, very much so. He looks right at you and just gets fucking clobbered. Three plus six is nine. Death. <laughs> death? Death. Okay. Not just death, but death. Death in general. I come running in. And you do what? <laughs> See my squirrel? <laughs> I'm gonna put Pip back in the shirt for one. And then I'm gonna pull out my staff and I'm gonna stab him in the foot. Ah! 15 plus 2. 17. Ooh, just barely hit. It hit. You got it right through that. He was wearing like a chainmail shirt. And just right over here is where you got him. Right underneath. Just went right into his tit. Oh, you said foot. Yeah. Foot. He, was he wasn't right wearing any. Foot. He yeah. wasn't wearing any chainmail. <laughs> his tits are hanging very, very. Very low. He's a very old guy. Four points of ten. I don't think I add anything to that, right? Do you not? I don't know. It just says no two D. Yeah, no, no, because I'm not strong. <laughs> uh, and you were the first one to hit, attack him. Yeah. Uh, movement, attack. Do you have anything else you'd like to do? Yep. Who's next? I can't read that. Mm. Oh, uh, oh uh, Isla, that's... Isla! Uh, how would Isla like to act this turn? What are you, Dark Superman over there? Yeah, I'm Dark Superman. Is there anything ranged you can do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to figure out if the goblins left would be within the line of sight if I just did a five-foot step into here. Well, these I two, betcha. we both are two feet tall, so you can definitely see over us. Because yeah. you're five foot. So, I calmly five foot step so that I can see through the door. And then I make a gesture and attempt to conjure a chill touch. What is a chill touch? A chill touch is a ranged attack. How do you to touch them? No. Chill touch is a distance attack. 120 feet is the range. Nice. <laughs> that would be a 25. <laughs> that is a hit, well, sir. Indeed it is. So I make a gesture, and a ghostly skeletal hand appears behind the goblin and grabs onto its shoulder. It is surprised, and considering there does... was nobody there a moment ago. And that chill hand, that chill touch, causes 1d8 necrotic damage. Oh. Four necrotic damage. I don't think I had anything to that. Spell it. Target takes one d8 necrotic damage. Ish. And can't regain hit points until the start of your next turn. And until then, the hand clings to the target. The hand reaches down, grabs onto his shoulders. You say? Mm-hmm. Or it's just one, sh- just one, one hand. shoulder. Just, just one hand, one shoulder. He le- looks over, realizing he feels this cold sensation run straight through his heart. And he just sits down and dies on the floor. <laughs> it's kind of one of those things where it's like it's it's like in GTA Five where it's it's awkward and like they're they're kind of bent back like this, but they're dying. <laughs> well, my work is done here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Damn <laughs> <Got> it! <laughs> I casually look around to see if anyone's looking at me funny for that. <laughs> <laughs> can I use perception to see if they had anything that I want? You can, in fact. Because I'm a thief and I don't steal things. Eleven. Yeah, plus, I don't know, something. <laughs> something? Perception. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, yeah, matter of fact, it would be an investigation at this point. You're kind of oh, sifting, yeah, yeah. Through, sifting through pockets. So just eleven, because my investigation is zero. We'll use that guy. Uh, you find a diary written in a language that you do not know. Hmm. That's funny, because being a thief, supposedly I'm pretty good with languages here. You also find five silver. Cool, I'll take that. Yeah, let's check one of them. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, I'll check the other one. Let's <laughs> give anybody good. else a shot. The silver has <laughs> monosodium glutamate. Two. That's Two? <laughs> <laughs> I missed you something. Find six copper. Okay. <laughs> Can I see the book? Can you not read what's in the diary? 
What's it say? What's it say? No? It's in the diary. Oh, shit. I'm trying to see if I can understand this language. What language is it? God. Oh, yeah, God. God. Oh. That one. Well, oh, I guess the diary just says. Today was another day down here in this dark ass dungeon. <laughs> uh, I wish some motherfuckers would come up on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> it never happens in this goddamn dungeon. Uh, each of you also gained 20 experience. Uh, you are now standing in a circular room. This is getting us nowhere. It's getting you nowhere. Go back oh, to that door. There are doors. Uh, there are two. There is a door <laughs> off to your left. No, right. We did, did we go through a round room on the way in? Does anyone recollect? Or we were too busy watching Bob. <laughs> he was so shiny. Uh, he was very shiny. I have to loud. make sure I don't get stepped on <laughs> at all times. My notes look like a graphic novel. <laughs> <laughs> I turn, roll my eyes, and walk to this door and open it. And he see, and you see what passageway? Ooh, look out at that one. I'm gonna walk up to him and be like, Tom. Yes. <laughs> You get the stick out and you're like, this doesn't feel level. Is it level? It doesn't feel level. She's taller. Now walk over to the other room. <gasps> I'm actually short. <laughs> <laughs> Messing with that. <laughs> so we continuing straight for tw- uh, is a passageway continuing straight for twenty feet. A door on the left. With uh, with ten feet after that, a door or a doorway. A door on the left means a chamber, so there is definitely an open path leading to more passageway, and there's a door on the left hand side, yep. most there. likely leading to another chamber. Cha- yeah, chamber. We'll I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> the table. <laughs> <laughs> My intelligence is now two. I strut down to the door. Door I open. Door closed. Door is closed. Listen. You hear nothing. I walk by. There was a fight very recently, very (laughs) nearby, though. Well, yeah, that's right here. Yeah. Uh, Would you like to open this door? Yes. 